What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to be doing a review on just different brands. I have a couple of packages, makeup packages that just came in and I wanted to give my honest review about it. So that's what we're gonna do today. I guess we can do like a little chit chat type of thing. I am sitting in front of my window, so you're gonna hear a lot of noises like this truck. Yeah, you're gonna hear a lot of stuff like that. So I apologize. Oh, and the birds wanna talk today. Okay, so I usually start off with my brows. So first thing I do, I already washed my face today. So I'm going to be using the Pixie Toner. This is the Pixie Glow Tonic Exfoliating Toner. And I just take a cotton pad and I just swipe that over my face. So that's what we're gonna do now. So I like the top because it has like a little hole. So you don't have a lot of product that's coming out. So I squeeze it out like this. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I put a lot, which is why the bottle is almost gone. I have another one in there, so thank God. And then I have to buy some more. And I can definitely see the difference when I put the tunnel on my face. It's definitely a lot more glowy. So the next thing that I do is I moisturize my face and I use the Righteous Butter by Soap and Glory. This is what it looks like. Come on, come on. There we go. And I just put that on my face. The ice cream truck wants to just make noise today. Someone told me that was a racist song, actually. I don't know if it's true, but... And then last but not least, in terms of prepping my face, I use the e.l.f. Soothing Alloy Mist. That's what it looks like. You can get this from Target. I believe I paid $10 for it, plus tax. And... It feels so good and it smells so good too. When I'm doing my clients' faces, because I do makeup on the side, um, I use that on them as well. And they always talk about how it smells so good and how it makes their face so makes their face feel so refreshing. I really feel like this ice cream truck is just getting on my last nerve. And now I'm gonna be using the DNA Info New York uh, lip balm. What is up today? Aren't we supposed to be quarantining? Like everyone is outside. And this is why the situation is out of control because people don't listen. Look at, look, look, look at this one. Just walking around. So now I'm using the Urban Decay All Nighter Face Primer. So this is my first time using it. I did use this on a client before. I never used it on myself, which is, that makes no sense. So well, whatever. I don't know if this has ever happened to you guys, but like, have you ever just like be in the middle of your makeup and you forget what to do next? happens to me all the time let me tell you guys this quarantine mess has really got me frustrated i need to get my hair done i did these braids myself and they're not bad but i need to go get my hair professionally done i need my eyebrows waxed I just need you guys to look how how hairy they are they need to get waxed so i'm going going to be packing a lot of concealer today sorry so I brushed up my eyebrows and now I'm going to be filling them in and I just realized that I left my foot, my filling thing in the drawer and I don't feel like getting up again. I'm so sorry for the noise, but okay. So now I'm going to do my brows. They might not look the best, but bear with me people. So as you guys can already see, they're like super thick, so I'm not going to add a lot of product. Look how thick they look. I like to use all of the product without before throwing it away. So I literally cut this thing open. Actually, I burned it open. So 
not that I'm not being like unappreciative of you know being able to stay at home work from home and all of that but I mean like I do miss my life I think all of us do and it's nothing wrong with us saying like I'm not here every day in my house miserable and complaining about it every day like I'm finding different things to do but uh I miss outside the vlogs were gonna be popping I had two trips planned for this year. I was going to Miami in the summer and Brazil in November, but um, plans change thanks to Corona. Cause she hate us. And now I'm using my um, little techniques deluxe crease brush. This is actually for your eyes, but I use it to blend out my concealer. Now we're going to move on to my lids. I think I'm going to do a popping color today. So, taking some of this concealer that I had on this brush. And we're just going to blend that out. My favorite palette, as you guys know, these two colors. And add that into my crease. I don't know if I want to add lashes today. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys want a lash tutorial. A lot of my homegirls always ask me like, how do I put my lashes on and all of that. So now that that's done, I'm going to go into the Naked Urban Decay Cherry Palette. And we're going to take this color called Devilish. So instead of like blending it, we're just going to press it in. You see that? So when I do looks like this and I want the color to really show, I try not to blend it. I just press it in so more product can get on. I'm gonna go on with another color called Binge. And we're gonna add that just so I can have that fade, that fade, that fade look at the top. So just blend it very softly. Now I'm gonna go on with this holographic disco stick by Urban Decay. This whole video is Urban Decay products, I just realized. That's really pretty. And as always, I use the Black Radiance Foundation in the color brownie. Because I'm a brownie. I'm a beauty brownie. My Real Techniques Flat Brush. And blending that out. Look at that. Love this foundation. And what I love about it is it matches my skin completely, but it gives me a little bit of tan. And I love that. Using the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Toast. I'm gonna take this color Espresso for a contour. We're gonna blend using the e.l.f. brush. So I'm gonna blend with this beauty blender on this side and I'm gonna use a real technique on the side just to see the difference in terms of blending. I'm gonna use the real techniques one on the other side. I wanna make sure that I said the purple one is the elf and this is the real technique, this is orange. I can tell it feels a lot better, smoother. It's not picking up a lot of product. Like really tight and it just feels better but I do feel like this one looks a lot smoother than this side what do you guys think taking 
my Real Techniques Contour Expert Face Brush. This is number 200. Let's go back with this crease brush and let's just blend that part out. I'm going to be using my banana powder. I'm going to try to upload as many times a week as I can. I'm not going to say every day because, ooh, child, I can't do that. I mean, I can. I don't want to. I'm just being honest. I do love editing, though. It's very tedious. Very, very tedious. It takes me about two to three days to edit one video. And that's because my creative juices really come in. I'm very picky. I like to cut out small things here and there. I look up different ideas that I can use to change up my videos and stuff like that. So I know that I won't, I'm not gonna wanna film and edit and upload every single day, but I will try to upload maybe like two to three videos a week and try that out for a month or two and see how that goes. And we're gonna take that binge and devilish color and add it to the lower, the lower lash line. Coming back in with this eyeliner. Going to be using the Ardo to me, Wispies. These are my last ones. Lashes done. That came out really, really good. I just really believed that the, la the mascara would be here. Okay, now I'm gonna go back in with that Vera Moore blush. And I'm going to be using my Real Techniques. Hold on, let me adjust the camera. I'm going to be using my Real Techniques blush brush. This is the number RT400. Again, this is the Vera Moore blush that I used earlier in the color Collapso. The usual, the e.l.f. lip plumping gloss I'm down to the bottom. And we're gonna go on with my 24 karat gold lip gloss as well. Last but not least, I will be using the Urban Decay. That's what it looks like. There you go. This is the Urban Decay Disco Queen Highlight Powder. It matches the, the highlight stick that I used earlier, which is this. I'm going to be taking this fan brush and I am going to apply it onto my face. And that should complete the look. Okay, people, that completes the look for today. This is, I don't even know what this is. This is like maybe a purple smoky eye. Thank you guys for tuning in to this chit chat. Get ready with me. Quarantine, get ready with me. Um, if you guys like videos like this, definitely let me know. I'll, more than, I'll be more than happy to make more videos like this since uh, I don't got anything better else to do. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, like, comment, share. Let me know what videos you guys want me to do. And I'll see you in the next one.